few years ago a video went viral on the internet. The video showed an endless kilometric row of tanker trucks waiting to unload sewage at the Dubai treatment plant. And no. No you haven't heard wrong, we're talking about Dubai. The city that owns the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, the exclusive seven-star hotel that has the interior decorated with 24 karat gold leaf. A police with fleet of luxury sports cars like Lamborghinis, Bugattis and their impressive artificial islands. But even with all this ostentation, there were reports of drivers who came to stay up to 40 hours in line, waiting to unload the truck full of poop. Logically everyone would ask, how can a city with so much wealth suffer from something basic, which is a functional sewer network? Well, to answer that, we first need to understand how Dubai was born. Before the discovery of oil, Dubai because of its proximity to India, was only a port-scale city and was known for exporting pearls. After the discovery of oil in 1966, the city grew massively, a total of 300% in just seven years. Dubai went from just one skyscraper in 1991 to more than 400 today. In this way it became the most populous emirate. However, rampant population growth is only the first factor in Dubai's sewage network crisis. The economy also grew exponentially after they found oil. But precious oil reserves have declined dramatically. As of the 2000s, oil accounted for less than 10% of Dubai's GDP. And it is estimated that the reserves will end approximately in 20 years. So unlike what many people realize, the city of Dubai is not so rich because of oil, even though it is located in the United Arab Emirates, which has the second largest oil reserve in the world, behind only Venezuela. That's because Abu Dhabi, Dubai's neighboring emirate, is by far the largest oil producer among the country's seven emirates, controlling more than 85% of total oil production capacity. Because of this, the Dubai government has made the decision to move a very oil-dependent economy to an economy based on free trade tourism and the financial market. With this the real estate and construction sector grew rapidly and came to represent 22.6% of GDP, but came the global economic crisis of subprime in 2007 and 2008, which greatly affected Dubai in 2009. And for the construction of a luxury city, the government got into debt, with government-related entities adding up to $59 billion in debt, which represented 52% of GDP in 2018. Dubai also had to resort to $20 billion from the central bank in Abu Dhabi, the rotten oil-rich capital, to escape the debt of the 2009 crisis. With all this in mind, it's easy to see that the Dubai government's source of revenue doesn't come mostly from oil, let alone the income tax, since this tax doesn't exist. Consequently Dubai focused a lot on the race to finish new projects like Burj Khalifa, in order to attract the world's attention and attract tourists, so as to increase its source of revenue with people buying and using its services. However, he ended up leaving infrastructure projects in the background, and soon the problems with the sewage network began to appear. That's not to say that all of Dubai's majestic buildings don't have a sewer system. Most have, but others do not, especially from more remote regions. But the biggest problem is the overcharging of the city system. To get a notion, only the Burj Khalifa alone is able to generate 15 tons of sewage every day. So because of all these factors, it turned out to be a snowball. Dubai was forced to shut down some buildings access to the city's sewage system and carry out the transport in a primitive way to the treatment plant by means of several tanker trucks. The thunderous urban space, coupled with a somewhat fragile economy, were the key points to this sewage crisis in Dubai. Of course this will not last forever, but, amazingly, nowadays is used this cheap and emergency technique for the transport of sewage from the city. But Dubai already has a scheduled date for this to end. In 2019, a mega project with a cost of 8 billion US dollars was launched to build a modern sewage system used in mega cities around the world, such as Singapore. To end this problem once and for all, it is intended to build two new deep tunnels that must be completed by 2025. They hope to save millions with current system maintenance cost. 
and help Dubai become a more sustainable city and logically end the lines of trucks on the highway loaded with sewage. In addition, once completed, the development of this project will help reuse wastewater and generate millions of cubic meters of water for irrigation. By then if you go to Dubai, you will probably find some of these tanker trucks carrying poop around the city. And this was the second video of the channel, share the video to help the channel grow, and leave your comment about the topic of the video. Don't forget to leave a suggestion of videos for me to do in the comments. Until later.